vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Ifanyi Okowa, is urging the people of Delta State and Nigerians to vote for Atiku Abubakar as president. He says the PDP has all it takes to rebuild the nation's economy and end the problem of insecurity across the country. Governor Okowa made the call as the parties rounded off its statewide campaign at Bomadi and Wari North local government areas of the state. Ikinamechi has details. It is the last lap of the PDP statewide campaign to all 25 council areas in Delta State. Bomadi local government area is where the party train makes its stop as party leaders, including Senator James Manager, and supporters converge on Olu Primary School to who electorates. Maybe a few days' time, maybe 10 days from now, we'll be going out. You must have your, PV, your voters' card. It's great, Your Excellency. As usual, we have never disappointed PDP before. We have never disappointed PDP before. Whether they like it or not, we'll do the same thing. I don't even know if we have another party. I will believe there's such a way which I will call Buruku. We are going to give PDP the Buruku vote, which is the bulk vote for PDP. And I believe we're going to divide the five over five for PDP. There's no two ways about it. PDP governorship candidate calls on this just speaking area to continue their support for the ruling party in the state for more development. That same day you are operating for, you are voting for prayer, you are also voting for me. I mean, I'm so. Yes, so. And Bomadi has never failed PDP. Bomadi will not fail us. Will Bomadi fail us? No. Koko headquarters of Wari North Council is the final destination of the campaign as Governor Okoa urges the Tiko Abubakar on Friday the 25th to rescue the nation. It's plenty, too plenty. We can't be tonight for Nigeria. We're not going to for one month. We're not going to be tonight for Nigeria. We're not going to be tonight for Nigeria. As the election date draws closer, these PDP faithful are confident of victory at all levels, but only time we tell. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Koko, Delta State. And party chieftains of the All Progressives Congress have described the presidential candidate of the party, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as one who Nigerians believe can deliver good governance to the people. The spoke at the presidential rally of the APC in Ibado, the Oyo State capital. The party stakeholders, while commending residents of Oyo State for trooping out in their numbers to receive the presidential candidate, advised them to keep their hopes alive as they would turn things around for good if elected president. Um, I came to be here today. It's a cafe day of different nature for my aspiration to become the elected president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. That kind of crawl in a virtue I'm aspiring to be the president of a united, one country, Nigeria. <laughs> to evoke a system such that there's inclusivity, there's fairness, there's justice, there's equity in uh, how we run this country. Just like I mentioned, uh, different political parties, different players, but if the country does not survive, then we don't have, I mean, the political parties will fade away. And out to Inugu, where the APC governorship candidate Uche Unaji says it will tackle insecurity and prioritize job creation through the establishment of small-scale industrial clusters across the 17 council areas of the state, if elected. He gave the assurance while presenting a 39-point manifesto christened 
Inogun shall rise again. Mr. Ennachi proposes massive job creation, investment in agriculture, transportation, tourism, ICT, and embark on massive industrialization project. We are going to have so much emphasis on education, on agriculture, and industry. We want an Enugu state that will become a catalyst for industrial revolution. We need an industrial revolution. We need an industrial revolution. Because with industrial revolution, we can be sure that unemployment is still there. The National Rescue Movement in Zamfara has denied stories making rounds that all candidates vying for different political positions on its platform in Zamfara have stepped down for the People's Democratic Party. The NRM also expresses dismay over the inability of the present administration to tackle insecurity, which may affect elections in 240 polling units across the country. Barely a week to the February general election, political parties have continued to intensify campaigns to garner votes for their candidates. The NRM, on the other hand, has been hamstrung and unable to campaign due to some enemies within the party in Zamfara who are working with other political parties to destroy the chances of candidates vying for different political positions under its platform. The party's Zamfara governorship candidate, Seydou Tansado, addresses salient issues at a press conference in Grisau. He denied stories making the round that all candidates vying for different political positions in the party have stepped down for the People's Democratic Party. He insists all candidates are still in the race and will not step down for any political party. There has never been or any arrangement or agreement between I, Honorable Ali Yusaidu and Sado, and I'm gubernatorial candidate, and Dauda Lawal, or with the party chairman Alaji Isa Ahmed Moriki, stating that I have paid allegiance, 100% allegiance, to support Dauda come March, uh, March 11th, 2023, for his gubernatorial election. On the recent declaration by ENEC that elections will not hold in 240 polling units across the country, the NRM in Zamfara faults the present administration for its failure to address insecurity. He also says he is the most qualified candidate for the number one political seat in Zamfara. If INEX says elections don't going to hold in certain places, they usually create an alternative. They usually bring those polling units to uh, security improved places. You know, but I think it's quite unfortunate. It shows how, how the government has failed. Because this is an election that since last year, a timetable has been placed. It shows the government has failed, if the state government and the federal government, if they cannot, if these elections cannot hold in these 240 places. A committee has been set up to investigate the root cause of defection rumors in the party. Said it and Sada were just party members and supporters to keep faith with the party. Safe less, Darufai. TVC News, Guso.